Uh, my name is Bruce Gagnon. I live in Bath. I'm also a member of uh, PeaceWorks and Veterans for Peace. I just came back uh, two days ago from going up to Rangeley, Maine. Uh, you might have heard that the Pentagon wants to, well, is now considering putting a so-called missile defense base in Rangeley. Also in contention is a place in Ohio, New York, and Michigan. It's a $4 billion project to put in up to 60 interceptors. Now, if you've ever been up to Rangeley, it's so beautiful up there. This town has 1,100 permanent residents, and they're talking of up to 1,800 people would be involved in moving there for this project. So completely changing the character of the community. This local school, K through 12, has 260 students all together. So their entire culture would be torn, thrown upside down. But the most important thing is the environment there, this beautiful, rocky, uh, mountainous region that I was told was just put under consideration to make it a wildlife refuge. And so now they're talking about putting 60 missile defense interceptors there. They'd have to blast the mountain, make huge holes, because they have 55-foot silos that would go into the ground, and then they put these interceptors inside of those silos and fuel them with highly toxic fuel. They would have to be stored on site. I'm told that Poland Spring actually has a 1,000-acre uh, water uh, aquifer extraction uh, thing right there because the aquifer is right at the gate of this where this installation is today that they would use for this so-called base. Let me just say a word about this, uh, what missile offense, uh, we should call it missile offense. Missile defense, as they call it, is a shield that would be used to pick off another country's nuclear weapons after the U.S. hit them in a first strike attack. So missile defense is a shield after the first strike sword plunges into the heart of Russia or China. In order to sell this thing, they're saying that it's going to protect us against Iran and North Korea. Because it turns out Iran has no nuclear weapons and no missiles capable of hitting the continental United States. North Korea, who has a few nuclear weapons, has no missiles capable of hitting the continental United States. So they're trying to sell it on the base of that, but it's really aimed at Russia and China. And it's part of an overall system that today is being deployed surrounding Russia and China and bases all over uh, the Asia Pacific and uh, surrounding Russia in the European theater. So really important for us here in Maine to be dealing with this. Veterans for Peace is going to organize a peace walk starting in Rangeley beginning on October 11th. We're going to walk through the state all the way down to North Berwick uh, where Pratt Whitney builds the F-35 jet engines. We're going to be talking about how Maine is becoming dependent and over-reliant on the military industrial complex for jobs. About 10% of our overall economy in Maine is now uh, by the military. But there's an email address where you can still send, people can still send public comments for quite a while. I've never been to a public meeting that was billed as a public meeting, but really it was like a very lame trade show, and there was almost no opportunity for the public to actually hear from each other, express their views, be in community. And um, I, we had some uh, flyers and I heard some laughing, and so I said, gee, we're here for this thing, and would you like a flyer? They did, they would, and one of them said, oh, remember a couple years ago when you guys were here for that low-flying Massachusetts Air National Guard? You stopped that, didn't you, she said. <laughs> um, and I think that that's probably largely why this uh, Pentagon had hired this PR firm at great expense to all of us to run a public meeting that was no such thing. It, it really felt like a recruiting event, but there were no young people there because UMF was still, you know, students weren't back yet, so. As soon as you walk in, you walk up to one of the easels, you have these easels spread out all around the place. And everything is very atomized. You, know? you walk up to the easel and about three people surround you. Do you have a question? And you know, people don't know enough to ask a question. I mean, they, you know, but, uh, but anyway. Uh, that's where we are in our democracy.